Okay, in this video we're going to look at making a burnt-in timecode window using Final Cut Pro. First step is to import some media. I'm right-clicking in the media browser and selecting import files. Go and find our video material that we're going to use. Select choose, there we go. Now I'm going to drag that clip straight into the canvas. There it is. Just jump back to the beginning and make sure there's some picture there. There it is. Excellent work. All right. Uh, the timecode generator is in the effects tab of the browser under video filters and it's one of the video items. There we are, timecode generator. And I'm going to drag that straight once again into the canvas on top of my video. Select filters in the viewer. Uh, double click to bring up that particular filter. Now, a few things we want to check. First, we're working in PAL video, so make sure we've got 25 frames per second. It should be the default if that's our project default. We can see the time code generator here. It's a bit, it's going to obscure our picture, so we're going to just drop it down. This is the offset from center. I'm going to type in 240. Let's see what that does. There we go, right down the bottom of the window. And I can make it a bit smaller if I want to. Um, that'll, that'll be fine. Right, now it's traditional to start your project at one hour. Uh, in the old days, uh, synchronizers had a problem going over midnight. So let's just uh, enter the hours offset as one hour to make sure that our timecode generator reflects the actual timecode that the clip is located. And we can use the right arrow to step through the first second frame by frame. Make sure that we finish on 23 frames, uh, 24 frames before jumping to the next minute and make sure that that uh, follows our time here. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to uh, just mark in and out points for our clip. There's the in point. Jump to the next edit to go to the end, mark our out point. And you can see that our clip is uh, 3 minutes, 50 seconds and 10 frames long. And uh, we're ready to export our project as a QuickTime movie. So we can import it into Pro Tools. Let's just check our video settings now. I'm going to use DV PAL because I've got plenty of disk space. And I'm going to name my clip. The project's called Half a Dozen. Half a Dozen TC for timecode. We're exporting the audio and the video. Click on Save and the export begins. That concludes our uh, little video. Okay. Bye.